we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Okay, Chris. I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Tonight on The Realm, we delve into the escalating battle between two giants of the hip-hop world, Chris Brown and Quavo. A feud fueled by personal and professional grievances has erupted into a war of worlds that has the entire music industry buzzing. Join us as we break down the latest chapter in this ongoing story. In 2017, the once collaborative relationship between Chris Brown and Guavo began to unravel dramatically, marking the start of a public and a contentious feud. This tension was primarily ignited by Guavo's new relationship with Garuchi Tran, Chris Brown's ex-girlfriend. The pairing was seen not just as a personal betrayal but also as a violation of an unspoken code among friends and collaborators within the tight-knit hip-hop community. As Guavo's and Tran's relationship became public, Brown's response was immediate and visceral, often expressed through indirect and pointed messages on social media. This public display of discontent not only strained their personal ties but also had professional repercussions leading both artists to sever their collaborative efforts. The rift deepened as mutual respect gave way to animosity, transforming their once fruitful partnership into a series of public spats and lyrical jabs that resonated through the musical industry and their fan bases. Fast forward to the current day, the escalating tension between Chris Brown and Cuavo has reached a new pinnacle with the release of Brown's track, Weakest Link. This song is not merely another entry in the artist's catalogs, it represents a significant deepening on the rift between them. Weakest Link serves as a direct retort of Cuavo's earlier track, Tender, which openly criticized Brown. Dredging up fast conversations and personal conflicts, Brown's lyrics are harsh and unyielding, filled with intense personal attacks that showcase the depth of his animosity. The feud, now played out through their music, exposes the raw edges of their relationship, turning personal grievances into public spectacle. Each lyric in Weakest Link is charged with emotion, illustrating Brown's frustration and anger towards what he perceives as betrayal and disrespect from Cuavo. This musical battle has not only intensified their personal discord but has also captivated their audiences, drawing listeners into the drama. As fans in the media dissect every line for hidden meanings and insights into their relationship, the impact of their feud extends beyond their personal lives into their professional realms. This ongoing battle highlighted by Weakest Link underscores how deeply personal issues can influence and drive the creative output of artists, affecting their public personas and careers. The release of such a confrontational track signifies a crucial moment in their conflict, setting a tone of hostility that might define their interactions for years to come. They say revenge is sweet, sweetie! Oh my god! Let's dissect the lyrics that have ignited such strong reactions. From accusations of betrayal to shocking wishes of death, these words carry a significant weight and are steeped in a complex history. In Weakest Link, Chris Brown doesn't just address surface level grief. He delves into deep-seated feelings of betrayal, reflecting the erosion of a once-solid friendship with Guavo. The lyrics go beyond typical rap bravado or a competitive juicing, touching on profound themes of loyalty, loss, and personal pain. Brown's pointed references to Guavo in the context of Takeoff's death not only shock due to their severity but also highlight the deeply personal stakes involved. These lines aren't merely for effect, they echo years of accumulated personal history and public fallout, making them a poignant reflection of a fractured relationship. As we analyze each verse, it becomes clear that the words are not just a part of artistic expression but also a manifestation of real-life conflicts and emotional struggles that resonate with their audience, intensifying the impact of every line. Can't wait to see the day that you Back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho nigga. You the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo nigga. You fuck my ex. 
Bro, I'm I'm in the matrix. I'm in the matrix. I've I've decided. I, I've given up on reality because this is this cannot be happening. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I have a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet about that shit. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. I got some tea like she spilled the tea on you and I've got more with that situation and there's also other wet things coming out of that. Yeah, you can fill in the blanks of that one. Plug that hole. The fallout from Weakest Link extends far beyond the boundaries of the music industry. Its impact resonates deeply in the personal lives of the artists involved, notably affecting their families and friends. This track, laden with intense personal attacks and revelations, does not exist in a vacuum. It reflects and influences real relationships and emotions. Family members and close associates are often swept into the fray, subject to public scrutiny and personal stress due to the heightened media attention and fan reactions. Overall, the ripple effects of Weakest Link illustrate how a deeply personal lyrical exchange can transcend the artists themselves. Enjoy this shit. Shred. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga, you a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your clique. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Because I fucked your ex when you were still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. The hip-hop community has mixed views on the feud between Chris Brown and Quavo, reflecting the diverse opinions on personal and professional rivalries within the industry. Discussions with artists, producers, and executives executives revealed that while some see these public disputes as beneficial for boosting visibility and streaming numbers, others express concerns about the negative impacts. These include the personal toll on the artists involved and the potential for alienating fans who prefer the music without the drama. Industry insiders also worry about the risk of real-life confrontations stemming from such feuds. Industry insiders also worry about the risk of real-life confrontations stemming from such feuds. Producers and executives in particular, view these situations cautiously, mindful of the balance between creative expression and maintaining the business's overall brand and reputation. Overall, the community recognizes the fine line between healthy competition and destructive conflict, with many hoping that such disputes are managed carefully to avoid escalating tensions. Yo, I'm live right now. Hey, bro, you, why did you, you went too fucking crazy, bro. The chat went crazy. This is hip hop. Yes! Hip hop is back! What can we expect next from Chris Brown and Guavo as the dust settles on the release of Weakest Link? The future of this feud remains uncertain, given the intense personal nature of the recent exchanges and the history of their conflict. It's possible that this feud could continue to escalate with more tracks and public curates. Both artists have used their music as a platform to express their grievances, and given the strong reactions from both their fan bases, they might feel compelled to maintain this narrative. On the other hand, there is also a chance for de-escalation. The music and industry has seen similar feuds eventually cool down as artists move on to new creative projects or personal developments to redirect their focus. Public and media fatigue over prolonged disputes might also encourage both parties to seek resolution or at least reduce the intensity of their public spots. In any scenario, the next step for both artists will likely be closely watched as fans and critics alike will be eager to see how this high-profile feud evolves. Whether it continues to boil or simmers down, the outcome will undoubtedly influence their music and public personas moving forward. From collaborative hits to this track, their journey from partnership to rivalry tells us much about the pressures and provocations of life in the limelight. Thank you for joining us on The Realm for a closer look at what turns artists into adversaries. Subscribe for more insight into the stories behind the headlines. Goodbye and stay tuned.